Today on the Platinum Patrol, we have another video submitted by the Wrathfire Nick. Today, a Zerg up against Toasty Face. Toasty Face typing in GLHF. As everyone knows, that means good luck and have fun. Seems unlikely in a ZVZ, but you never know. Maybe we'll have a special one. Looks like we're not, because we have a spawning pool first. Lovely 12 pool from the Wrathfire Nick. Oh, and his opponent is also doing a 12 pool. So we're doing the exact same thing. And neither of them wants to have any fun. They just want to end the game immediately. Good luck, Zerg bro, says Wrathfire Nick. Any, as everyone knows, whenever someone starts typing stuff at you in the chat, beyond like four letters, they're cheesing you. It's like a known fact. So now, Toasty Face knows there's a cheese coming, if he's a real player. The real question though is, is there going to be speed with these? Looks like the Wrathfire Nick is going for the speed, because he has his extractor here he's taken. His spawning pool is almost done. We'll see how many zerglings he goes with. He might build up and wait for speed. Otherwise, I'm not sure what the point of this gas is. We do not have an extractor here for uh, Toasty Face, though. Toasty Face building the six zerglings to Wrathfire Nyx 4. Both going for a queen, so maybe not the most all in, but probably. Just want some more larvas in there. Now, it looks like we'll have metabolic boost fairly soon. There's a 100-100 for Nick. He probably should start that, and there it is. Excellent. Now, the question is, since Toasty Face is going to be getting his metabolic boost much later, the extractor just finished, if there's any time for Wrathfire Nick to get in, a lot of harassment. I'm slightly confused here about this, because he went for a 12 pool, is now a 9 drones, but took a second hack tree. I'm not sure if that's normal, but I have a feeling it isn't. Over here, though, the Wrathfire Nick is going. No extra base, just going for a lot of Zerglings. Looks like the 4 versus 6 is here. It's very intense. Now he's going to scout his opponent's natural expansion over here, which means he knows that Toasty Face is not going super all in here with the Zerglings. He just killed his economy early game to get some Zerglings out. Those 12 pool then not do any damage. As opposed to that though, Nick's speedling timing is going to come in here pretty quick. And I imagine once these two links finish here, we'll have this group with speed and just run in and destroy our friend here, Toasty Face. That being said though, there is a queen. And depending on how well he protects this queen, it could be very useful in the defense. And he knows this is coming because he sees all the Zerglings across the map. He doesn't see speed yet. The speed should hit exactly when he's here. There it is. He's running in. A little bit of surround. Takes out a few Zerglings early, but Toasty Face has so many. Even with speed, Wrathfire Nick is forced to go back. He doesn't have enough Zerglings here. And this Queen survives to inject, and now with two bases up, it's getting very intense here. Wrathfire Nick does have his natural also. He's doing a Baneling Nest. Very natural thing to get. Speed's still not done here from Toasty Face. Mainly that means he can't leave his base very exposed because Wrathfire Nick's lanes could run in so quickly. I guess he has a second group and a queen here to defend with. Now Wrathfire Nick is gonna see this, right? He knows there's a bunch of stuff coming. He's repositioning his lanes, getting some queens going. And it appears that this rush is about to hit. Actually, it's not really rush at this point. A little skirmish here. When you're outnumbered by in lanes, you can take so m you just take so much worse trades. This hatchery is getting surrounded. I think it's going to die. He forces them back. The baneling nest is done. He can afford some banelings. He's really getting tight here. Yeah, here's the baneling. He's going to lose his hatchery. The queen comes out. It will get surrounded and taken off. I mean, these broodlings can help out. Okay, Toasty Face runs from the broodlings. Defending the queen. Now, here's three banelings. Now, these connect. It could swing the game. Toasty Face pulling back from the Banelings. Wrathfire Nick has them all together. His opponent has no Banelings. I don't think he have been, he has a Baneling Nest at this point. We just need a couple of good connections here. One takes out those two. Toasty Face doing a good job of sending small numbers of Zerglings to fight the Banelings. And try and pick them off. Like this. Here, these three are going to try and take out this Baneling. And lose three Zerglings for it. It's a good trade for him. There's more Banelings morphing in. Toasty Face just making links at this point. He never went back above 14 drones. I'm not sure why he needed his second base for 14 drones. Must have been just for larva. These Banelings finish. 
Ooh, good hit there. Takes down plenty of zeros. Oh, and this one's good too. Rathbrennick driving this back, out teching his opponent by making one tech structure. Uh, hate to see it. Now, Toasty Face also sitting on a ton of money. He has uh, 600 minerals. He just can't afford to um, keep making units. Doesn't have the larva for it. Maybe he needs another hatchery. Now he runs back into Nick's base here. These banelings will finish up shortly. Toasty Face pulling back. Rathar Nick is significantly down in supply. Well, not anymore, really. He's down in supply, but it's not bad. Because he has banelings, his opponent doesn't. Honestly, I don't think his opponent knows how to make anything other than Zerglings. Really don't think so. Quick exchange here. Looks like a couple Zerglings die. Not too crazy. Now, if Wrathfire Nick can sneak a Baneling in here, I'll realize there's not enough drones for it to be amazing. Two Evolution Chambers start. Okay. What are you evolving, Zerglings? Because that's all you know how to make. A Roach Warren. Okay, okay. <clears throat> So we have some tech changes here. Overlord is driven back again. 11 drones on the way for Toasty Face. You know, I'll be honest, um, he really is short on workers. Also, he doesn't have enough gas to support roaches. Three evos. Interesting. Is this just for a wall, I'm guessing? Must just be for a wall. Wrathfire Nick here taking another gas. Honestly, he needs some more workers at this point, too, if they're both macroing up. But he has a Spire on the way. Looks like he's taking all of his gases now. <clears throat> Gonna need that gas for the Mutalisks, that's for sure. Toasty Face has a group of Zerglings hidden over here. He's also taking a bunch of gases. What's with people take not taking their main gas and taking both of their expansion gases? Is it just like it's not on the screen, so they pretend it doesn't exist? Do they... Forget they didn't take it? I'm honestly curious here. This happens in a lot of these replays, and I don't get it. Wrathfire Nick up to 30 workers. Of those 30, he's got 12 on gas. 12 on gas and 18 on, uh, on minerals. He's gonna need the gas from Eulists, but he won't be able to produce very many Zerglings to back them up with this few number of drones. Now, he could use another base, and so could Toasty Face. Especially since Toasty Face is floating 1,200 minerals. Build four bases. Looks like we have level 1 weapons coming here from Toasty Face. Roach Warren's done. Still making only four roaches. Now, it looks like there's going to be a Mutalisk versus Roach here. What I imagine is going to happen is that these Mutalisks will take forever to kill roaches. They take forever to kill roaches, right? So roaches can do damage while the Mutalisks hit them. But eventually the Mutalisks will clean them up. So imagine what's going to happen here is Toasty Face is going to attack with some Mutalisks. He'll do some damage, and there's a third base coming up, and then the Mutalisks will force it all back or kill them off eventually. Two more bases here from Toasty Face. Excellent. Got four bases from him. Wrathfire Nick on three. I'm surprised this 12 pool versus 12 pool went like this. Well, neither of them really went all in with the aggression. They just like made a 12 pool for some reason. They made Zerglings. Look at this wall. He has three evolution chambers and is doing one upgrade. That hurts a little bit. Especially because armor on a roach, like a plus one armor roach, is so good versus Zerglings. And all, for all he know, and he knows his opponent's just on Zerglings, he hasn't seen the Mutalisks. Mutalisks, yeah. Also, the armor helps a lot versus the Muta damage. Not that you really want to tank Mutalisks with roaches, but... If he started with his weapons, it'd be finished with his push. And that would have been very strong. So these evos, these first two, finish at the same time. Toasty Face moving across the map. Solid 1,000 mineral and 800 gas bank. Don't need that before the attack. Don't want to spend that. He's going to find the Mutalisks. So these Mutalisks are going to start doing some damage. They'll take a long time to play Roach with Banelings hit right in the face of the front line of Zergling, so... There's pretty much only Roaches left now. That was a little bit sloppy moving in here. That was a lot of damage from those Banelings. These roaches are completely outnumbered now. These mutalists will kill them, and there's enough mutalists that it actually won't take them too long to kill these. He takes out a queen, takes out another drone, it looks like. It's all cleaned up. Toasty Face down 40 supply, but he has enough money to max out. <laughs> Back to, well not max out, go up to like 100 supply if he wanted to. Does he even have larva though, is the question. No, he has no larva. Kind of what I expected. I'm not sure... 
15 drones is the answer when your opponent has a group of mulas that you just saw. Spores will defend very well. Okay, does he have them everywhere? But he's got a good surround of spores. He should be okay. This one, I guess, didn't have enough minerals to build. Or he cancelled it. But there's enough spore colonies here that I think the mutalists will be forced to leave. Or they'll, they'll take a ton of damage otherwise. Well, you don't want the queens caught out like this. Mutalists diving on this spore. Take it out. There's two spores and a queen shooting here. He takes out the queen, which floats into space. Fascinating. GG! But if we turn the game for a second, though, how many mutalists are left? But Toasty Face just didn't spend his money. Sadly. But uh, that's what happens when you spend your money, you lose the game.